This is an overview of the configuration menu options in the MELD 2.13 firmware. If you haven't seen the overall overview video before this, please go watch that one so this will make sense. So if I enter the configuration menu with a quad click, the light will begin showing me the uh, various options, and there are 12 options in this version of the firmware. And each one is indicated by a special pattern of light. To select each one, I'll hold down the switch, and to move on to the next option, I'll click the switch. And if I don't select something for 10 seconds, it will just quit out of the menu. So the first one is the locator beacon. That's indicated by this low red blink. So to activate that feature, I'll hold down until the light turns green, and now it has activated that feature. And what the locator beacon does is anytime the light is off, it will blink the red LED very dimly every four seconds, and that's so you can find the light if you uh, lose it in the dark. The second option is tactical mode, and if I activate tactical mode, it locks the light in the current mode and makes all use momentary only. And so to demonstrate this, I'll actually wait till it quits out and I'll go choose something more interesting. So if I go to a strobe mode and then enter config, jump to the tactical option and activate it. Now that that's activated, the next time I turn off, we're in tactical mode and no button commands will be interpreted as commands. It's purely momentary use only. If the button is down, it's on in the last use mode. If the button's up, it's off. <clears throat> and the only way to exit this is by power cycling. So now I've exited that and I can execute commands again. Back to the config menu. The third option, it's tough to see on the camera, but this is showing the light dimming down from bright to dim, and that's the lockout option. So if I activate that, the next time I turn the light off, it's locked out. <clears throat> and that means now I can't turn it on unless I execute a triple click. And that's a one-time feature that's useful if you are storing the light and you don't want it to be ac accidentally turned on. Back to the menu. After lockout, we have this feature is to turn on or off the automatic dim. So what it's showing is a tick, tick, then brightness increasing, showing what the option will do if activated. So this would be disabling the auto dim. And what the auto dim does is it forces the light down to a low level if it hasn't been touched for 15 minutes. If I had that feature disabled, the option in the menu would be displayed in a different way showing the brightness reducing which is to indicate what you would be doing by activating that feature that is turning on the function that would reduce the brightness. Back to the menu. The next option double blink is primary and what this will do is let you set where your primary level is by uh, going to that level, then entering the configuration menu and activating that option. This function is the loner mode, and it's, it's tough to see the pattern on the camera, but it's doing a high, medium, high, medium, high. If I activate that, now the light is locked in that function I was using last before I entered the menu, and all of my fancy features are disabled. The only thing that I can do is use the light in momentary or latching mode. I can't adjust brightness and I can't access any other modes. And this is useful if you want to lend the light to somebody who doesn't need any of this extra stuff, just wants a basic flashlight. And you get to choose the mode or brightness that you want to give that to them in because it's locked once you enter loner mode. And the only way to get out of that is to power cycle. Back to the menu, jump through. The next one is dim to red, and it's showing the light coming down and then a red output. That will enable or disable this low red function here, which replaces the minimum level with red. After that, I have the brightness showing coming up, and that's the power up option, which will restore the last used mode when the battery is connected. So that's useful for lights with a power switch as well. After that is the momentary max option, 
which replaces any momentary use with maximum output instead of the last use mode. After that is a burst function which will automatically reduce brightness very gradually and usually not noticeably when you're at a very high output level and that's useful for saving battery. After that is enabling or disabling ultraviolet which is useful for if you don't have that hardware installed you can just disable it in the menu and never see ultraviolet. After that is disabling colors which will just remove all of these functions if you don't want them. After that is a high CRI mode which is sort of an experimental one that mixes in a small amount of red, green, and blue with white during all normal white levels. And those are all the config options.